the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is the Ramble and I'm Alex and we're here until midnight tonight, yay! Yeah, that's it, uh, how are you? Good to see you all uh, and welcome to our fine program uh, as I get too close to the camera. There we go, if I st- sit back here it looks better, right? Right? Uh, doesn't it? Yeah, it does? I don't know, let me see here, let me get my mics up and everything. I'm trying to, you know, it's uh, it's uh, what um, two, Wednesday night, and uh, a lot of this equipment hasn't been working for a couple of days, so I have to retune it and get it going again and all of that. And uh, you know what I got here that's working really nice. Well, let me bring in, uh, let me bring in uh, our uh, our <laughs> our Monday guest, uh, a guy who is here always every Monday with us. Uh, and uh, let me see here. Phil, turn on your camera. They, wait a minute. His camera. Uh, there we go. Now his camera is on. Hello, Phil. How are you? How you doing? Where are you? In Versailles? What is that? Uh, no, I decided since you have your living room, I would show you mine. Oh, okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. This, is, this is the Hall of Mirrors. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm sure you're very familiar with it. I had something very strange happen today. Yeah, what was and, that? And I, I'm waiting for it to screw up. But mm-hmm. it, if it stays this way, it's nice. See, I always had one camera that I used for my regular camera. Yeah. Right? Remember the one that used to go out of sync? Right. Okay. And then I had another camera that I used for Zoom. Yeah, okay. Well, right now, I found that I could bring in my Zoom camera... And also use that same camera as my main camera. And they're oh. working, and they're not... Com- Before, it used to be couldn't run both of them at the same time. So I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is, but... I, I understand. That's that's uh, pretty cool. It's like two for the price of well, one. Well, it may screw up. We don't know. You know? Yeah. You know? Hey, uh, you know, uh, you've been having some problems on the subways in New York. And I just I haven't been having problems with the subways in New York because I'm not even taking them. Well, you're fellow New Yorkers. All right. So I I came up with a product that can solve the problem. Really? Yeah. What you do is this is uh, this is the subway safety uh, string and you put this around your waist and Uh you go up to a pole or or a (laughs) signpost and you put it around the signpost. If you have a a lot of girth, then you can take two of these and put them together so that, uh, you know, you can expand. Now, once you're bungeed to the post. Bungeed? Bungeed. uh, And it's very difficult. Bungeed? Where did you get bungeed from? Uh, Bungeed. It's a, uh, he's a. uh, Whatever. Yeah, bungeed. I think he's an Arab terrorist. Yeah, but. Anyway, you use these mm-hmm. and you won't be thrown onto the tracks. It's guaranteed or your money back. And <laughs> well, <laughs> let me put it this way. If it doesn't work, how are you right. going to collect? Well, you know, you know, the estate. But, uh, you know, I figured since you have such a far reach, why don't we sell these in the Gabnet store? Uh, you know, we can use the extra money. Well, and, and it's a safety thing. It's good for the public. Well, you know, as everyone leaves the show, go through the gift shop, and you can pick up one. Right. Uh, yeah. You know, a- along with the face, the towel with my face on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, yeah, I'm glad that your camera is working. Uh, well, it's working strange because it, I, I usually have to use two cameras for this show. And mm-hmm. uh, now, you know, all of a sudden, if I go, uh, if I go to just me alone, look, I mean, that's using the same camera. So, and it's in sync. So, oh, I love it. Uh, so yeah. you're a boy band now. I'm a boy band now. 
The other thing was I moved this thing, this monitor, and all of a sudden my sound went bad. How does that happen? Yeah, well, uh, you know, nobody I, wants know, to know, you know how you the know, salami is made. Well, I'm getting tired. I'm I'm getting tired of this whole thing. You know, I'm tired of everything, actually. Yeah, I'm oh, exhausted. Yeah. I'm just exhausted. I'm yeah. tired of everybody as I get older trying to get every penny I have. You know? uh, yeah. I think, I think when you reach our age and you're living on a fixed income and you've got some money, but it's there, that everybody tries to see how soon they can alleviate you of those funds. Even if you didn't have the money, they, that's why they make attorneys. That's why they uh, have Amazon. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and all these things to take your money, okay. you know, during, you know, why they made the pandemic so that you'd sit at home and buy stuff and yeah. uh, help. So uh, I, I certainly uh, stepped up to the plate mm -hmm. uh, during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. It was well, like, I, I couldn't press the buy button fast enough. Well, let me, let me explain something to you that happened today. See, what we're having to do, we owe somebody in this whole thing with the apartment. We have to pay the guy who lived here yeah. a large amount of money to get the rights for him to give up his claim to the apartment. Okay? I, ha I have an idea. Well, wait a minute. Let me finish the story. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so we've got to, half the money's coming from Marjorie, half the money's coming from me, half of it's coming from her Vanguard account, the other half is coming from another account that I have. So uh, my business manager has to, is getting the, got the money into her account, now he's got to move it to my account, and then from my account, we got to move it to my, give it to my lawyer. How, right, do, you how got, do you, you get you, it from your account if you have to break the little pig yeah, right, and, right. And, and separate the dimes from the pieces? Anyway, here's the point. Here's the point. Yeah. So then he writes me and he says, well, her bank will want a $30, what, a $50 fee to move it to your bank. Right? Then your yeah. bank is going to want a $30 fee to move it to your lawyer's bank. And I'm going... What is this? I mean, it, it, there were a couple of other charges. So it comes to about a hundred bucks. And I'm going, just to move my money around and the fact that my money's been sitting in an account and you've been using it all these years, you know, because yeah. you, you know, I'm certainly not making any money off the, uh, the interest they pay me because if I had, let's say, $200,000 in an account, let's say. And about I, $8, I, $8 a year. I have a little more, little more than that. It comes out to about 45 cents a month. Yeah. In interest. Are you out of your mind and now you're charging me 50 bucks to move money around? Kiss well, my ass. Well, we, we've said that about banks for a long time. Yeah. That's why mattress sales are up, uh, you know, and, and they put a zipper in the mattress now. So you have a place to put it and you, know, mm -hmm. you can get a lock on the side of it. And, uh, yeah. no, nobody knows you got it in the mattress. Uh, this, uh, I mean, that, uh, that really bothers me, though. It yeah. really bothers me. And it's just another case of let's get some money out of the old guy. You know, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, putting the money in an account, uh, you might want to put it uh, in an escrow. Uh, no, uh, no, no. My, my lawyer said he would put it in, the, in an escrow from the very beginning. You know, he he said. Well, he said this later on when it was yeah. too late, but he said we could have put it in an escrow account. I'm not going to put it in an escrow with my lawyer. Why am I not going to put it in an escrow with my lawyer? Uh, because uh, if it's an independent escrow account, uh, you don't want to turn it over to the guy until you have the other part of the deal made. Well, no, that isn't, that isn't it. That's, that's, not, that's not what I'm talking about. Oh. What I'm talking about is why don't I want to, from the very beginning, years ago, put it in a in a in an escrow account that he has because that escrow account isn't going to earn me money but you my 40, 45 cents a month well no i'm talking about my money that for instance let's say i have my vanguard account my yeah. fidelity account yeah. and and i have to take that money out of there to give to him to put in an escrow account where where it could sit in the vanguard and make money but it's sitting you, in his escrow account, not making money. Have you checked the market the last couple of days? Well, barring <laughs> that. Well, yeah. you would have been better off in the escrow account. Well, that's if, true. Uh, that's true. You know, uh, and I, I had considered 
uh, converting the little amount that I had in the stock market into cash. You know, it was mm -hmm. it had reached a point that I said, I, pigs go to or uh, hogs go to the trough and pigs go to slaughter. Yeah. So yeah. I said, well, you know, maybe I'm a pig. I, I made enough on this small investment that mm -hmm. maybe I should just sit on the sidelines for a while. Yeah. So I didn't. Now, all of a sudden, I'm back to, uh, uh, you know, pre-2020, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, was it 2021 uh, uh, amounts? Is my so, skin too pink tonight? A little bit. Uh, maybe, you know, no, but, maybe hey, it is pink anyway. Yeah, no. Hmm. Uh, your, um, your but anyway, what I'm fine. saying, what? Your color is fine. I mean, you, you, you look, you look fine. Yeah. Anyway, you know, here's, for somebody that doesn't go outside, uh, you know, that might be your natural color. That could be. That could be. But anyway, so what I'm saying is, I'm not going to put my money in an escrow account where it's not going to be earning money, where it's just yeah. in there to be in there. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to leave it in my lawyer's escrow account, which I could have done all these years. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to keep it in my Vanguard. I'm going to keep it in my Fidelity. I'm going to keep it in uh, various places where it's going to keep making me money. Well, I'm going to keep mine in my mattress. Yeah, and... but anyway. So, <laughs> But all I'm saying is, what's with these banks? I mean, what kind of, what kind of there's a Jewish term for it, ganafs are they? Ghanifs, yeah. You know, what kind of ganafs uh, are they? I mean, that's terrible. You know, this is always the way it's been. It's just that money has inflated and, uh, you know, we're, we're seeing bigger numbers now. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, uh, 35 years ago, uh, 40 years ago, uh, I, I read an article about you in the New York Times in 1970 something. They listed the salaries no of, no that was uh, yeah new york magazine yeah oh okay yeah and and it was it was in the 70s it was and, a cover uh, it was the cover and it had right. a, a picture of several of us like bill graham was on the cover uh-huh and how much he made and then there was a picture of me on the cover and how much i made and then yeah. there was a picture of morris the cat on the cover <laughs> really, really this is true and he was making more money than i was yeah, well, yeah. You know, I don't remember how much it was that you made. I but made. The, it, I remember the amount on there. It was yeah. uh, twenty uh, seven thousand five hundred dollars. I think. Amazing, amazing. Which was a lot of money in that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In 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 the early seventies, it, it it was. It was before I knew you mm -hmm. and uh, or had met you. And uh, uh, you know, it, uh, it it was just a, a general article, and I just happened to have noticed it, and you know, it, I just. You know, uh, read it at that time, but it, I had no connection uh, to reading it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it I, but I just remember it was there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah it, interesting. So you said twenty seven thousand dollars. You're paying more than that almost in rent. Well, you were <laughs> paying more than that in rent. You know, but, you're paying like sixty grand a year. Yeah, but I mean, I you know the thing is that it it, it, it I, I just. I don't understand why why the bank does that. Or if they want to charge me five bucks to do it, fine, okay, yeah. I understand. You got a little, but fifty bucks? Are you out of your fucking mind? Yeah, uh, you know, it, there was a, de a certain deregulation that took place in, uh, in banking that allowed them to make certain kinds of loans and uh, and uh, things things just went crazy and. Uh, and it was no longer a service. You know, it used to be you borrowed some money, you bought a house, they used the depositor's money mm -hmm. to make the mortgage. It was secured by the mm -hmm. uh, by the deed on the house. And, you know, everybody was happy and you were making two, three percent. Now, nowadays, if you make two or three percent in the bank, you'd be happy. But uh, mm -hmm. it's it's not that way anymore. Uh, thing, things are topsy turvy. And, uh, you know, I. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I leave money in the bank. You know, uh, what else am I going to do with it? Well, let, let me ask you a question because uh, let's hold a little uh, uh, Gabnet meeting here. All right. Well, since you're on the Gabnet board of directors, aren't you? Well, I am now. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I was just, I was just wondering. Was, okay, so I do this show, the Ramble, three nights a week. I've lowered it to three nights a week. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I get maybe. Total people watching it, if I'm lucky, okay, 
of maybe 150, 175 people, 175 views. All right? Yeah. Now, I do this little, like, simple cut and paste show where I don't even use the, the switcher and all of that. I just go right on with it cold onto Facebook. Um, and then I, uh, I do the show for an hour called The Pop-Up on Mondays at 4 o'clock. And uh, it, you know, I'm, have, I'm having a good time doing that show. Uh, and it's on at 4 o'clock. And uh, I, I, I looked at it today, okay, to see how many total viewers we had as a result of it. Over 600 viewers since Monday. It's like in a 48-hour period. Well, why, make, why am I still, why am I doing this thing at night? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, you know, you, you, if, but if you look at total audience, you're picking up another 150 or 200 uh, between, between the two. So you got the 600 and the 200. Uh, so you're getting total audience. Uh, if one show c currently is doing better than another, uh, maybe there's something to that format. And uh, it would be a lot less taxing on you uh, although I, I, you like see, I couldn't do I couldn't do that show one, more than one day a week because its true value is it's only one day a week. Well, what does you that know? tell you? Maybe you should have a third show. So you, you got the ramble where people yell at each other, and then you've got we could the do that on show. we could do that on Friday night only. Right, exactly. So you got your night show. You're uh, you're picking up that audience, and and maybe that audience would expand to three hundred. Uh, from 150 if it was one night a week and then one other day you do something else probably Maybe probably your interview the interviews like with yeah. you and uh, with uh, with bubbles and with sure uh, you know yeah you can rotate them through and uh, so that it's uh, it's fresh and and uh, and all you do is an hour of the ramble don't do the first half hour and you know let Jack uh, slave away at five days a week. Well, he wants to. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. You know, if you haven't good. heard, Jack Bishop is on what uh, five nights a week. Five nights a week. He's on at ten thirty in this slot, Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. He's on at his old time at midnight. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. he's enjoying it. Uh, I, I, you know, maybe one of these days he'll learn how to get a camera. <laughs> and, and, I, 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 I got to tell you something fun. Yeah, here's something fun. I just yeah. play a little bit of it. You can hear it. What 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 it happens? Mm -hmm. What I did is I needed to because all these time changes took place. I needed to have Rob record so. some new wor words. I had I had a couple of spots that were done by Albert. Okay, and a couple of spots done by. Rob, and then I have the the, the uh, lineup promo in which he says, you know, so and so. There's such and such and such and such time, and then I throw in some cut from from the show, okay? And then yeah. another, you know, the spot I'm talking yeah. about. Well, so I did all of this, and and Rob's been very busy, he's starting a new job, and he's, yeah, you know, and he he got a Tesla. Did he get a Tesla? Yeah, I uh, chatted with him the other day. Mm. Uh, he said he had to turn in his company car, so he got a Tesla. So uh, now he's plugged in. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so yeah. so uh, I, I, you know, I didn't want to bother, bother him one more time because he was nice enough to do the spots anyway, okay? So I, I didn't want to bother him one more time, but I didn't have him record one that says, uh, you know, on, on Monday nights, it's uh, the exchange with Damian Chaplin at uh, 7... Uh, thirty uh, at ten thirty. Excuse me, right. at nine thirty. Yeah. Right. Okay. Because I had one that said nine. He's on at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So I didn't want to bother Rob. So what I did is I took the thirty from the <laughs> my time slot from the yeah. promo for my time and, slot. And you cut it. Cut it in there and listen here. Tell me if you can even. If you uh, you can even hear it, hold on a second. If you All can right. hear even even hear the changes at the very beginning, it's the first thing it says. Okay, here, here we go. 
We're GabNet, and we've got you covered live five nights a week. First, on Monday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, it's the exchange no, that's with not David bad. and Chaplin. And yeah, it was a little, little, little glitch. No, you didn't hear it. You didn't hear it. Yeah, it, it. it was a little glitch. No, you didn't hear it. You, you, yeah, do, you, talk, you, you talked over it. Oh, okay. I heard it. Let me it, play but, it for uh, people again. All right. Okay. We're GabNet, and we've got you covered live five nights a week. First, on Monday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, it's The Exchange with Dave. Now, can you hear it? Yeah, there's a little speed up. No, there's not. Uh, no, yeah, there's, there's not. a little yeah. change. No, uh, only because yeah. I told you. Only because I told you. You would never I hear I understand. It. Well, you told me, and I, I was listening for... Oh, did, see, and, and, I, thought, you know. I thought I was brilliant. That I had some <laughs> brilliant editing there. Well, it was good editing, yeah. you know? Uh, it, it worked. Wait a minute. Hold and, on a second. Everybody listening, listen to that again. We're GabNet, and we've got you covered live five nights a week. First, on Monday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, it's The Exchange with Damian Chaplin. Now, can you hear it? Uh, well, when you, when it's, when he said The Exchange, it sounded just like the 9.30 thing, so maybe no, I can't hear no, it. No, no, the, the, that part of it wasn't changed. I know, just that's the, why I'm the, saying the 30, I heard... 30 yeah. Eastern is what I yeah. put in there, replacing 9 o'clock Eastern. Well, I think that was uh, a very it good, was uh, a very good edit. It was yeah. genius of me. Ex- yeah. it, it, Alex, you're a genius. You know, I asked Rob, I said, uh, how's the radio station going? Mm-hmm. And he said, it's great. And he may get some sponsors, some ba- local baseball teams, and he's covering some uh, local issues. And so I said, well, why don't you talk to Alex? Maybe, uh, you know, stream it on there like he streamed the sex uh, thing from Florida. Yeah. And uh, I don't I don't know why, uh, you know, he would be uh, want to do it. He said that he's actually paying for the music now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that he's that he's streaming. Yeah. And uh, so would that be uh, uh, easy for you to do or, you know, because um, he's got the stream running anyway and he's doing the voiceovers and, uh, you know. Well, I mean, I oh, listen, I would always like Rob to do something here. Yeah. Even if it's something else he's doing that he wants to port here, uh, I don't know about the music. I don't know if he played he, it. Uh, well, he know, is paying for it, but he has and, the rights to it on his station. I don't yeah, think but if his station is just broadcasting through Gabnet, why wouldn't uh, you know? Uh, I, I could ask my friend Barry if he knows anything about that. I, I, it's it's an interesting it's an interesting question. I mean, if I were a radio station and I were taking a syndicated show, mm-hmm. and they played music and they were you know they had the rights to the music and all of that, yeah, um, would I have to would I have to pay? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't well, have an answer. You know, and it, I'm sure it, if I ask the people. Like uh, uh, ASCAP or uh, ASCAP BMI. BMI, they say, "Oh yeah, you got to pay us." You know that would be their immediate answer. <laughs> yeah, so like, oh, money, sure. Yeah, you know, yeah. we'll take that. Uh, but uh, you know, I, I'll ask, I'll ask Barry. He doesn't know too much about internet, but he knows about radio stations and he knows mm. about uh, you know uh, paying for the music. Yeah, so he got himself a Tesla, huh? Yeah, uh, Model Three. Uh, it's very cool. What, what's yeah. the Model Three? Uh, it's the thirty-five, forty thousand dollar one. Oh, that's yeah. not bad at all. Yeah. yeah. And uh, now, what he he said was, it is so fast. Uh, these electric cars are they're extremely fast. And uh, I hope he doesn't get a ticket. But uh, I guess you go really fast, and then you have to charge it. And, yeah, you have to charge it. Yeah. Uh, I I was watching a program today. It was actually on Fox, and some guy was being interviewed. He had one of those hydrogen cars, and he went across country. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, I didn't see the whole interview, but yeah. I, how could you do that? I mean, you can't even buy these the hydrogen cells much outside of California. Yeah, but the hydrogen cells are probably going to be the answer. Yeah, yeah, eventually, because I think they don't take as much. All you do is put water in there, right? No, uh, it it. it Whatever happens, the reaction between the hydrogen and the the rest of the thing causes water vapor to be expended. That's instead of smoke coming out the tailpipe, right. a little bit of water vapor comes out the tailpipe. Well, that sounds but good. It's, it's a chemical reaction 
between the hydrogen cell and some sort of electrical charge. Hmm. Uh, and, and that's and then the byproduct, I guess, is uh, is water vapor. Hmm. And, uh, you know, that, that's that's great. I th- think that they've also said that making the hydrogen cell and getting all of that stuff in there is much more um, uh, it's not environmentally friendly. Matter of fact, it's. Uh, it's it's bad for the environment the uh the effort that it takes to to make it to make what they make uh, the, the hydrogen cell oh okay uh, and uh but you know when we say oh well, i've got a i've got a tesla and i'm i'm protecting the environment because i've got a uh carbon neutral thing whatever Remember, folks, you're plugging in into a wall, and that wall is going to some place which is supplying you with the power, which is spewing something out. But it depends you know. on where where you are in the country with that. If you're in West Virginia, where they have coal-powered plants, it's uh, causing a lot more uh, 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 environmental issues. If you're in California, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. it's it's not as bad. Uh, I had a customer that told me about Fusion Nuclear, and uh, he works for a, a French company that uh, this Fusion Nuclear uh, nu- doesn't have Phil, the... Phil, nuclear. Yeah, yeah nuclear. <laughs> I always get that. Uh, I'm consistent. Uh, so a- anyway, this, this stuff uh, is burns very, very clean. Uh, they're using it in Europe right now. It, uh, the uranium, uh, it, it doesn't, you don't get stuck with a lot of uh, uh, spent uranium mm-hmm. that has to be uh, put in the ground for a, thousand, a couple thousand years mm-hmm. uh, uh, just to reach its half-life. And uh, so th- this, may be, this may be the future of, of electricity in the grid if they uh, start using this fusion nuclear. By the way, Phil has got himself a new camera. He's using oh, yeah. the same camera I'm using. Well, not the same one here, but the, his own. Well, you know, yours works in two on two different streams. Why not uh, make it well, work? Well, I may on, not uh, need to use this for, you know, if, if this works. If this doesn't freeze up at some point on the show tonight and I have to sign off, then I guess it works. You are know? you using uh, that new uh, Mac Mini? Uh, uh, no. It's a little no, 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 no. I'm using this, the, this is on the garbage can. On the garbage can, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. but it it doesn't seem to be uh, it, it 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 just uh, seems to be that it, I it goes on both, you know. So oh. anyway, I don't know. Am I in sync when I talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. it's perfect. Everything's fine. Uh, let me bring some people in here. You don't mind sticking around, do you? Well, I'll I'll stick around. Yeah, we like having you stick around. Let me see here. Uh, first of all, let me let me get rid of you here. Let me get rid of your name. There we go. Now nobody knows who you are. You're anonymous. And admit all. So that would mean that uh, we would be getting uh, Charlie Wallace and there's Alan. And that's... Uh, the, u- the usual suspects. <laughs> the usual suspects, yeah. You know, how, how could people uh, in droves not tune into this show with guys mm-hmm. like Charlie and Alan? You know, I, they're actually nice guys. And, uh, you know, you got nice guys on Monday. Why not nice guys? I think it's because you got that uh, couple of girls that call in. On no, I think it's just generally the Monday show. You're, you're on it, uh, Charlie. It's a nicer show, isn't it? It's, yeah. Its tone is nicer. Yeah, we don't really discuss politics. Yeah, and they like yeah. each other. Yeah. You know, really genuinely like each other. So I like your new intro, Alex, the, before you get on the show, where it talks about jack show and it's got some of us well, i've had that stuff. going forever <clears throat> yeah but there's you have some new things i have new there. stuff yeah, i put in things. there well you like it because you're on there <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he, he's a loyal caller he calls jack show and uh yeah. well, well so does charlie there I, yeah. I i just i just like it i, I guess i never it, it's newer people in there maybe that's what it is yeah. By the way, I need to correct something that Phil said. I mean, there are there are no power plants in Europe that use nuclear fusion. We don't have that technology yet. Well, uh, this guy's working on it, and uh... maybe working on it, but there are no power plants anywhere in the world using nuclear fusion. I'll have to ask him where where the plants are. They're using uh, nuclear fission. Fission, they've but got not fusion. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> it, it, I said it was nuclear. <laughs> and uh, not well, nuclear. Let, yeah, let, let, let's clear up something else that Phil said, just for just for. Oh, well, if we spend time... Hey, I, I if thought we you guys were supposed to be nice guys, if, we, if we, you we, want we, some if, viewers. If we, we were talking... If we, we spend time, about, if we spend time on that, we're going to be here all night. You were talking about bank deregulation. Yeah. Thank you, Ronald Reagan. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, Alan, you would need three of these. I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> Strap to the pole that way you don't find fall into the tracks. It's yeah. very clever. Phil. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is anybody else going to call? Is you know? Yeah, where is everybody? Yeah, where is everybody? Know. You know? They'll be here. See, I mean, I, and I got a lot of people calling the Monday show too. Yeah. But I mean, the it's amount of people that watch get on the, the pe- amount show. of people that watch that thing is just incredible. I'm, mean, you know, yeah. I mean, compared to the other shows, it's still not great compared to you anything know, else. You have uh, thirty-one on YouTube uh, watching. Yeah, right. big right. big deal. Well, uh, I don't know what you have. Boy, I'm it, making the money now. Yeah. <laughs> well, you want to I, I read something on YouTube about YouTube and how uh, these guys make money. They get sponsors. They uh, get uh, uh, links so that when people buy something, they get a small percentage. And then they also have certain kinds of commercials. And sometimes they run two in a you row. Know, I understand that, Phil. But these yeah. people also have. 50,000, 100,000 people watching them. Yeah. And so they can then go to an advertiser and say, hey, you know, I mean, I, I just on the ads that run before my show, uh, I'd be making a fairly, I'd be making a thousand a month if I had like 50,000, 100,000 viewers yes. a day, yeah. you yeah. know? So, I mean, um, you know, yes, you can make money, but you got to have people watching first, and I don't have that many watching. Yeah, and because I don't know how you go out and get viewers. I know there's there are people who work at it, and they know how to get them. You know, but well, I don't. I don't know. Uh, some people yeah, use clickbait. Use girls in bikinis and stuff. Uh, and they also use uh, uh, f- free stuff. So there was this guy Gary Vaynerchuk. And he was an early YouTuber. He, he had a wine uh, c- a company that used to sell over the internet. Uh, I think it was called line, winelibrary.com. Yeah. And uh, he's, he also owns uh, Vayner Communications and some of his, uh, co- uh, his um, uh, clients are like Apple and, uh, and others. And he has so, the other one, Les Vayne. Les Vayne. So uh, yeah. uh, this, this guy, Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, uh, wrote a couple of books, and uh, what he uh, what he says is that he gives away certain content. You know, he, uh, for instance, for you, you could tell people how to be a YouTuber, or how to how to do what it is that you're doing, mm-hmm. uh, uh, or how to uh, uh, do radio. And uh, so he, he makes these little uh, short uh, things, and then people tune into it, and mm-hmm. uh, they subscribe. And that's how he gets all the eyeballs that he gets. So, uh, and, but then he puts out a product that you'd pay for, uh, a book or something like that. And so you'd, you'd buy that because you felt that you got so much free content from, uh, from the other things that he gave. By the way, we're losing listeners, Phil. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I'd like to correct something <laughs> uh, Phil was saying earlier. <laughs> Another correction. <laughs> <laughs> what is it you want to correct? Anything? Yeah. I figure if we just have people calling in and correcting Phil, maybe we get some more people yeah. calling yeah, in. Everybody call up to correct. It's called correct Phil. Yeah. <laughs> I came up with an idea a long time ago, which was uh, uh, call Phil's mom. So if you if you had a complaint uh, on, on the on the store, I would have a it was back in the day when you had answering machines mm-hmm. and I had an answering machine on each line. And so I was, mm-hmm. I, 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 I thought about it. I never did it, but call Phil's mom and complain. And, uh, you know, then uh, I do something about it. I don't have a lot of complaints. So, you know, there, there wouldn't have been a lot of calls, but it would have been cute. To, yeah. well, hold, you know. hold on a second. Kevin, do you have something to correct uh, um, um, Phil on? Some, something he said wrong or that was a mistake? Can you hear me? Uh, usually, yeah. Yeah. 
Usually. He's speaking, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm not a politician. <laughs> <laughs> but you play one on radio. Anyway. Yeah. This is radio. You realize I've been off of radio for nine years now? No, no, you did a you did a Sabo show. A lot. That was seven years ago. No, it wasn't that long ago. No. You know. You know. So let's all correct Phil on his on his calendar. On his what? I don't know. Yeah. 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 So, uh, well, you you have to take a number. Yeah. So uh, we have a Supreme Court. Uh, ooh, ooh, very Justice good. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Keto bars. Keto bars. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. Yummy, oh, yeah, yummy, that, yummy. That, all of that could be your sponsor right there. Keto you, you find the problem up. with it is, though, that the chocolate on, on the outside of it has a tendency to just chip off and fall on the floor and stuff. Yeah, that's why I eat it over and have this thing all spread out. I have a system. I do it over the sink. <laughs> or over the, know, or over the toilet, you know. Well, because uh, otherwise it falls on the floor and then it melts and then you got chocolatey goodness all over the floor. Yeah, the chocolate's really good. Yeah. Alan, Alan brought up a, a very interesting topic. If you're ready to go from chip, no, chocolate. we're not. We're talking keto bars. <laughs> we're talking oh, keto think, bars. What do you think? This is why the Monday show is much better. I'm out of here. I'm Brian, yeah. Brian, I was going to ask. I don't blame you, Brian. By what do you way, think, by Brian? The, what do you think this is? Monday? Why? Did, did, by the way, did, you didn't get a chance probably, but you're in the lineup promo now, Brian. Oh really? With oh, wow. you, with so your excited. with your rant about me paying attention to Mandy and not you. Yeah. Oh, awesome! <laughs> I heard that. Cool. That was good. I, that was good. That's awesome. Yeah. So Justice Breyer is retiring. Yeah, we saw. Him. I, I I think he's being carried out uh, <laughs> by uh, Kamala Harris. And and in most stores, when he retires, they're going to discontinue his ice cream. That's right. Uh, vanilla Fire. bean. Fire. This is pretty good ice cream. Right. Yeah. It is good ice cream. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I guess they re they're uh, planning on losing the Senate, and uh, if they lose the Senate, then they wouldn't be able to. If, if he retired after uh, the twenty twenty two uh elections well this will be they, done before then but uh, phil you know i mean there is something to be said for the fact that if the president wants a particular person all right that they should go ahead and give it to him that that no, you know no it's it's called separation yeah it's the, the judicial the, uh, and, and the uh, legislative uh and the executive branch are separate well if they were separate then the senate wouldn't have to uh, certify a new Supreme Court justice. Yes, but it does it with a majority. It's just that the Dems don't have very much of a majority. And if they uh, nominate Kamala, uh, who's gonna who's gonna vote in her place? Well, she'd be a good uh, Supreme Court justice. We're gonna need Mansion or in Cinema to vote yes on this. I think they will on this. Well, this is not one of those Manchin, issues. Uh, according to what I heard, Mansion and Cinema have always voted for any appointments that uh, Biden yeah. made. Yeah. So and good. You know, I, I don't think it's going to change the balance of the court. The only thing I think is kind of shitty is that they're picking somebody because of the color of their skin and their gender and not the uh, well I, I i you know i was thinking that myself oh wait a minute i was thinking that myself today but only from the standpoint that when you say well i'm going to appoint somebody of color i'm going right. to appoint somebody uh, who's a woman a woman uh yeah. i think what you have to say is i would prefer blah 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 but right. i'm going to put the best person for the job in there exactly exactly you know and, and I, I think there are quite a few women who are suited to the job, including Kamala yeah. Harris. I don't think Kamala Harris is suited to the vice president's job, let alone uh, a justice of the Supreme Court. It's just because uh, you know, she screwed. won't screw you. Uh, no, no. She, I, <laughs> I, I, I blow me. I, that's That would be, <laughs> I'm a little lazy. <laughs> but, <laughs> But, uh, um, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I just think that uh, uh, I would like, I think it would be nice if they, you know, did it to Merrick Garland, gave it to Merrick Garland. I've seen Merrick Garland in action uh, in, in front of uh, the uh, Senate committees, and uh, I definitely don't want Merrick Garland. 
No. You the don't want is, anybody. You don't, you don't want anybody yeah. that's a yeah. liberal, Phil. Face it. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Come on, name well, one liberal you like. You should invite oh, him on the Monday show. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, one, one liberal I like. How about Alan? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, most of Phil's friends are liberals. Yeah. Uh, wow. wh why are why do they hang out with him? Well, uh, yeah. the the thing the thing is, I live in California. There oh. aren't any conservatives in California, you know. So I, I you know, I I'd, I'd have to stay in my house all day, uh, like Alex, if I uh, just wanted conservatives. As a Phil, all you got to do is drive east on Highway Four for about fifteen minutes, and you'll be in conservative country really yeah yeah well sort of a little farther than antioch antioch and pittsburgh Woo! okay go over <laughs> go over to the, the delta and you'll be there oh well if i went to antioch and pittsburgh i just get shot exactly you wouldn't make <laughs> that's it true there. okay go past brentwood then you'll be there <laughs> i-5 and you'll be there yeah <clears throat> you know, they have a, a, a california passing some law for gun owners have to have insurance or something San Jose, uh, only. San Jose. San oh, really? City of yeah. San Jose. Uh, yeah, it's um, uh, yeah, insurance, and you know, this is this is just you know one more step towards making it uh, a, a crime to be a legal gun owner and allowing criminals to run free uh, with all the guns they can steal. Right, criminals. Well, the criminals have to get insurance too, don't they? Uh, no, they're, they're exempt. They're, they're exempt, but but they can vote. Oh, oh, okay, good. You have a criminal card, and you don't have to have insurance. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to know how this is going to stop the murder rate in San Jose. Uh, how, how, how do seatbelts stop people from getting into accidents? Not very well, much. Well, stop getting killed in accidents. You know, yeah, that's, that's that's true. That's a true. Story, true. Hey, listen, Charlie, we, we Charlie, want a bigger Charlie. answer than that here in New York. How do you just not get killed in New York? Yeah, I'm afraid that I'm like you. you actually, get a yeah, set at ease. Don't, don't get on the subway. <laughs> no, but, get a set at ease. But that's if, all. But if you're if you're, 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 if you're a cop, if, if you're a cop, that's not going to protect you. This? Yeah. Well, well, then stand on the other side of the column. <laughs> behind it because what we lost two two police died or we have yeah. one, we had oh, nine Alex, yeah how many yeah, two well I think six in three weeks six yeah but there was two in new york just the other day yeah the domestic both of those guys died yeah, that was right by you alex oh yeah it was home yeah. but they also the got the guy who shot him right they shot him yeah yeah i think they did yeah no. uh, shecky said he had a rap sheet a mile long they they, they had today they had a they had a guy who was in some kind of stabbing. He stabbed like three people, mm -hmm. and then he went jumping over the freeway, and he got run over by somebody on the freeway. So oh, they, I, lady I saw that. That was yeah. hilarious. That's yeah, great so they found this guy got run over on the freeway, and they went find it. Find out that was the suspect for the the stabbing they just had with three people. Trial guilty done. <laughs> is this, right? Is this uh, in San Jose, Brian? Yeah, Cupertino or something like that. Yeah. Well, they're probably going to start a new law that if you have a knife in in uh, in Cupertino, that you have to register it and insure it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. No, that's I racist. It, it, it's racist because mm -hmm. those people that carry knives aren't carrying guns, and they're being discriminated against. Sorta. Of. Yeah. Really? Uh, Doesn't a knife? Isn't it illegal if the knife's over three inches? Is like three fingers? Or I remember what it is. No, that's the penis. <laughs> oh, didn't they say like it was against <laughs> over, over three inches? Is it three inches? Oh no! What? You don't it's have to illegal. worry, Tony. Th this is yeah. why the Monday show is so popular. Alex, you should no, invite no, jokes still... like that, right, yeah. Ryan? Yeah. Invite, invite Phil on the Monday show just to see what the, no, the no, initial no, reaction. No. I, it, it, <laughs> it's 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 a Phil free zone. It's a safe zone for 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 dice people. <laughs> They probably did. Imagine he turns them all sour. They start yelling and screaming. <laughs> yeah. I, I almost called from the factory. I was watching it in the corner of the factory for a little bit, and I started getting too loud there. I almost called. Wait a minute, wait a minute Brian. You eat sushi from Lodi? Yeah. I, I saw I that on Facebook. I did, boy, you... Was that in a Chevron station? No, it was real Japanese people. So that's what oh, I yeah. <laughs> They weren't. They weren't. Uh, mm -hmm. 
other nationalities in the back. I, I don't know how many oh, people sure. listening to us right now know Lodi, but it's not exactly the place you'd think you'd buy sushi. <laughs> sure. Well, the 7-Eleven. Yeah, yeah. You get it at the 7-Eleven. It it's kind of like, you know, years ago, I, I you must remember this too. Uh, 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 what's Phil? your name again? Phil? Uh, uh, Phil, you, you, you've got to remember this. Yeah. Back in the day in New York City, and I'm talking about the 70s when I first moved here, 1969, okay. you go down to the subways, and they had candy vending machines. Really? Yes, yes. I would yeah. have liked to see a picture of that. Well, wait so a minute, wait a minute. I never, did you ever buy any candy out of the vending machine? Oh, in the no, subway? no. But the you thing. know, I, I <laughs> thought about <laughs> it, I thought about it, and I <laughs> went, how <laughs> rotten can this food possibly yeah, be? Yeah, I didn't think of They that. even had the sandwiches <laughs> there and things like that. Uh, well, yeah, there was Horn and Hardock and, uh, you know, uh, Automax. No, but we're, but we're talking about the subway. I know, in the subway. Oh, uh, right. You know, in the in the New York City subway, a friend of mine, not me, uh, tried to steal some uh, light bulbs. And uh, the light bulb screwed in the opposite way so you could use them at home. <laughs> you know, they screwed, oh. in, they screwed in uh, counterclockwise instead of clockwise. <laughs> really? I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, hey, leave it to a friend of couldn't, mine to couldn't find that. Couldn't you go somewhere and find an adapter to turn them the other way? You would think uh, it's good. I don't know. Hey, you know how much you those you. They knew they were going to steal. Know, hey, you know how much those specialty sockets probably cost? Oh, More yeah. than it costs to replace the stupid light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take the light bulb. We need it for the kitchen. All right. Then they train the people to put it in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah. it's it's screwed in in the opposite direction. Yeah, that'd be a lot of training too. But anyway, these are these vending machines, and I went. I'm never buying. You know, as a rat is going by, I'm not. Well, I'm not buying any of this candy. Wouldn't you say that mo when most of those vending machines broken or or broken into, or they break the glass out and take the take the you know the the candy that was showing. Uh, in the thing, I you know, who would I, I, take the candy? Oh, were in it, it was also yeah, nuts. I, they I sold nuts and stuff. It. Yeah, they showed it was one of those vending machines with the peanuts and the yeah. and the Snickers yeah. and mm -hmm. the yeah. You know what I used to do, Alex? I used to make we used to go to the bowling alley. I used to make slugs and put it into the machine, like the video game machines, to get free games. And when the guy came to collect the money, he he knew like who are the kids putting the slugs in the game. We kind of walked away like I don't know who did it. It was us, really. You used to have to do the. We had like a little sh like type of metal. If you circled it enough and cut it, it worked. Because when you threw it in, it was heavy enough. Oh, I got a free credit on asteroids. I used to go through it a couple of things. We used to fill the machines up, but spread it around so it wouldn't look too obvious. He's had but coffee he tonight, hasn't he? Enough. Hasn't he? He's had coffee tonight, hasn't yeah, he? I had <laughs> coffee, no, yeah. <laughs> yes, but viewership went up. Yeah. It went from 28 to 31 as soon as he started rambling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yes, yeah, that's, that's our good that's old. My advice, maybe, you know, maybe uh, I send coffee to more of the members on the panel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, so um, uh, let's see here. What else has been in the news? Anything? Uh -huh. Uh, you got the Supreme Court thing. That was uh, a blockbuster today. We may get a snowstorm. It's not a blockbuster. It's just one story. It's like, and then it's one story that's good for about five minutes, and MSNBC milks it to death. Stock yeah. well, it's taking a big plunge. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Stock, stock, did, yeah. stock. Did, did it plunge again today? Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, yeah. Uh, whose couch? I, I, whose couch? Can I sleep on there? Oh yeah, uh, I got an empty apartment. I'm I'm not doing too good. What? Um, I have a McLaren for sale. If anybody's looking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, doesn't that McLaren fly? Uh, it, uh, Brian posted that somebody blocked his driveway while he oh, had to go guy. to pick up his daughter. So I'm saying to myself, well, why don't you just use the McLaren? You step on the gas, you fly over those FedEx guys. You know? Yeah, I was. Door, it's a McLaren, door. not Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> How long were they blocking your driveway for, Brian? It doesn't matter. I w I was right on time to go get my daughter, so I will look out there and like, what the hell are these guys on doing? the other side of the street? It was completely empty. Why and, did they do it? There's a school there. There's plenty of room, and they just stopped right. There's in a shopping it. center right around the corner. Has Adrian gotten to the point yet where she doesn't want you to leave her off in front of the school? She'll walk like a half a block so her friends don't see her daddy. Oh, is no, no, no. Over. That's Simon 100%. Well, Simon doesn't want <laughs> oh, you really? to leave him off. Does not like any attention. So, 
Why? So whenever he's bad, I pick him up at school in the McLaren. <laughs> Rev it up a couple times, you know. <laughs> honk the horn. Right when I pull up, I honk the horn. Right when I see him, he sees the car. Everybody stares and they're going, Woo, Simon, man, nice. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, we just ignore my thing. Is that your friend? Yeah, I know him. Yeah, but Brian, where you live, the McLaren is the is the extra car in the garage. They all have the Lamborghinis and the, oh. and the Bulgatis. And no, the, no, no. Yeah. Not like that. Phil has a Pinto still. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wind-up no, one. The Pinto. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. Hey, where, where is that, Phil? That's not, that's not Hearst Castle. Where is that? Uh, that's uh, the Hall of Mirrors at the Palace of Versailles. Yeah. Um, uh, this is a model of my uh, car, except mine's green. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so that's a, is, is that you? Do you Cruiser. actually own a Pinto? No. <laughs> Does he? What, what is that? That's an, uh, a Toyota FJ Cruiser. Really? Yeah. And, like a door. Yeah, and the, you know the the hood, uh, the doors open, and uh, like a car I can light. see the car Look. You want to get on Jack's show. Jack loves little model cars. Yeah. Uh, a customer gave me this. Oh, really? He must have wanted a deal. What did you do to the apartment that he gave you a car? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, he didn't have his anymore. And oh, that it, was nice of the guy. Yeah. And... Hey, Phil, is carpet going up in price a lot? Like oh, it's up? going up, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and, oh and by, by the way, going. can I just say something? Because I've heard this on all the other YouTube shows. Yeah, what's that? Uh, okay. Uh, if you like the show, smash hit, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, they do smash the subscribe sign right below us here. Yeah. Well, um, if you like, please do it. Oh, uh, we we want you to do give it. Give it a thumbs up, too. Oh, yeah. And yeah, you might like also it. want to click on the bell, which will let you know every time we're on and be <clears> annoying <throat> as hell. Yeah, which is all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. That's a double bell if Phil's not on. Yeah. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> bing, bing. Oh, Alex is on and no Phil. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we can... yeah. This, this is this is the guy I helped get on the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so um, let me see here. There was some other stuff in the news, but I I don't know. This is uh, uh, today the Briar thing was the only thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Although there is a new. Um, I think you got COVID. Yeah, I think so too. There's a new strain of COVID. Yep. Yeah, there's another one. Yeah. Oh, I picked up Omicron. I picked up a half a dozen COVID tests. I had to go to Staples today mm -hmm. and pick up forms to do the 1099s and the W2s. Yeah. Just to do before the end of the month and my bookkeeper came in today and so I had to pick it up this morning. And uh so I go there and the guy has got 12 tests uh, at the cash register. So I uh -huh. said he says uh, you want to buy any COVID tests? I said, "Yeah, give me six. And wow. so I uh, handed it out to all my uh, employees that were at the store. Mm -hmm. And I said, if you're not feeling, you know, hang on to it. If you're not feeling good, mm -hmm. take the test and make sure you're okay. So mm -hmm. um, that was uh, that was my big uh, COVID. How much were they? Eleven ninety nine. That's cheap. That's For a one or two. Uh, I I don't know. It was in a little white box. And it's it's staples just, on the box. Yeah, and Phil's gonna mark it down on their payroll as a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an office expense. But, you know, I, I, I figured, hey, you know, if somebody, if one of the guys says, you know, I'm not feeling that good, then just take the test. I don't know how soon you get the results. Oh, uh, it's the one we have, me and Alex, it's 15 minutes. Yeah, it's quick. Yeah. And, uh, and it's yeah, almost 60% accurate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Feel sick, take it. If yeah. it still says negative, don't worry about it. Come in, you're probably just stomach yeah. or Good to go. Good to go. People. See, it says that. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm doing my due diligence. Well, I tried I, my. Well, we I got. Do. We got. We got a whole. We got four of them, and I. I and tried, mine haven't shown up yet. Well, I tried. Well, I tried room. one. No, mine either. I tried yeah. one, and uh, it didn't turn blue, so I'm not pregnant. Yeah. Oh, mine didn't turn blue either. I was doing. I tried one and, last week. And how much? Alex hoarded all the toilet paper during the toilet paper shortage. Oh, I'm going to lock down stairs. Probably stairs. got a whole bunch of tests now, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we so your four tests, Alex, came in the mail? The, the, the four you got from uh, along with the government cheese? I didn't get nothing here, Phil. I'm still waiting. Yeah, for how it. do you get the ones from the government? 
Do you, you just go, on, they have a site. They have a, yeah. a website, and you just sign up, and they send them to you. And I didn't know that Marjorie had already done it, so I went and did it, oh. and they said, you can't do it. There's already some being sent right. to your household. Yeah. Mm, so. Yeah. Only like, uh, post, post office also has one, the post office site, USPS. Yeah. And also, uh, let me see here. There's a... Um, uh, yeah, and then also I think you. I, I, th I think you can get you can get some. Gov. Okay. And I think oh, you can God. also go down to your local uh, pharmacy and get free N95s from the government. Oh what? really? Wow. If they have them. One N95. Yep, that's you, what they give it out. You know how long the straps on that last? I don't know. Not as long as a uh, hot girl on a date. Uh, you got a bra strap. Yeah. Why don't they hook the N95s to your ears like the other ones? Uh, yeah. I've, I've seen all, some that do. Go around. Have, you have seen some that do? Uh, yeah, I've seen them that do. Just a different brand. Yeah, because... The 3Ms go around the back of your head. I can't figure out how to get them on. You know? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta stretch them over. They go from the, yeah. to the top. They go back down over your neck and then up the top of your head. Wow. Uh, you know, I, I went... You know those masks that uh, uh, you and Alan bought that I told you about from the 511? They're comfortable. They're crap. Uh, so I, I went back to uh, 511 the other day, and I tried mm -hmm. to buy some more. And uh, so I, I saw the packages. I grabbed about a half a dozen packages or maybe nine of them, and uh, there's two in a pack. And I put them on the counter. Uh, you got the paper one. Uh, so I put them on the counter, and then all of a sudden I look, and it was it had a shark shark teeth on it and it was gr army green i said i don't want these i want the black ones and they said well we don't have any more uh they would discontinued uh so uh, i gotta keep the ones i got let me see here well, here are the ones that marjorie got us uh yeah. and these are these are pretty good but uh, you know supposedly none of these are good enough you know now you got to get the n95s you know, well, now they, now they tell us after half of us are dead. Exactly. Everything isn't changing now all the time. They, yeah, they got to stockpile at the N95s, and uh, they got to move them. Yeah. Let me see here. Well, those they don't want us to wear anymore either, the surgical masks. These? Well, yeah. they're, they're better than the cloth masks. Well, these, Double up this is pretty good. But okay, the, Alex, here you go. Here's the demo for you. These oh, are the 3M one. N95 masks. Mm -hmm. Don't look at the bald spot. Mm -hmm. You take them out and you stretch the bands. And then you put, there's a nose thing inside here. So that goes on your nose. Very easy to put these on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another strap on and poke yourself in the eye. He's going to choke himself. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's real easy to put on. <laughs> that yeah. is Alan, oh, yeah. Alan. Never take it off. You look good with that on. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Wait a minute, Alan. I got a test for you here. Hold on. Uh, provided these don't, the straps don't break on these because they do. They, they suck that way. But let's have a race, okay? As to who? No, really. Get your get your N get your N get your N ninety five out. Get it ready. On your mark. Get ready. Get set. Go. I think Alex won. <laughs> so much for the N ninety five. I'll take Alex and the forty nine ers tie in the Bengals with the points. <laughs> yeah. God, Phil, you want to get one of these? They're a bitch to talk through. Yeah, these, you want to get one, uh, Phil? These are ones Marjorie bought a bunch of, and they're really very good. You know, the one you're wearing? Yeah. Yeah, I see a big gap on both sides of your nose and over here. And so somebody coughs. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's coming, coming right in. in. Who gives a crap? Nobody's coughing near me. I'm going to up. Come get me. <laughs> somebody coughs near me. I'm going to kick him in the balls. But there yeah. you go. You know. I'll get him to cough a little harder. <laughs> what I'm finding is people are getting tired of being told to wear a mask. And a lot more people are rebelling. You know, I go into people's homes and... Mm -hmm whether they're there or not. And I, you know, I have a mask on and uh, you know, sometimes they're not wearing a mask and they'll say, uh, you don't have to wear the mask. And I say, oh, I just do it because it's the law, you know, or it's uh, you know, there's a mandate that. Well, I, I don't to. care if people don't like wearing them. I mean, th you know, this is a matter of. I don't see of, any of, downside. This is it. a matter Att of public. Attitudes, attitudes are changing though. 
Uh, it used to be uh, there were more people that wore them that didn't. Now people are rebelling. Oh, no, against. you walk down the street here, and I see a lot of people wearing them. Uh, most people those, are wearing them around here. Alex, and, and, and those are thieves. No, no, the thieves oh, don't. Man, the the thieves wear masks, okay? Right. Yeah, of course. <laughs> You know, you go into a bank and you got to wear a mask. It used to be if you walked into the bank, you couldn't wear a mask. You know, now it's like if you don't wear a mask, you can't go into the bank. No, now if you don't wear a mask, you can rob the bank. Yeah, but hey. That makes no, no sense at all. Uh, that joke doesn't make any uh, sense at all. Officer, don't move. What's that? What's that? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a junior LAPD thing that a friend of mine sent me. Oh, is is that say seven fourteen on the bottom from Dragnet? No, it says uh, three six kid K I D three six seven. Yeah, you know the badge number for uh, uh, Joe Friday at Dragnet was seven fourteen. Seven fourteen, yeah. I know. I have, you know, I, have, I love I have, it when people yeah. bring that up. I I was thinking the other day, is there anybody under the age of seventy who listens to Jack's show? Uh, <laughs> no, because I, yeah, you me. know, he, he he somehow thinks that people reference that even know who Perry Mason was <laughs> you know I gotta tell you I realized okay. I realized the other day that there are people who are mm. under the age of 40 who don't know the Beatles were you know I mean that's that's how much time has gone by and that when you reference certain things you lose a whole bunch of people I mean you just said bad 714 <coughs> how many people here knew what he was talking about Oh, See, yeah. oh yeah, everybody. Oh, and, well, and and what was a, a seven fourteen uh, when in the seventies? Well, I I know what a four forty is. Four twenty no, is rather seven fourteen was Aurora. So you know, Aurora seven fourteen was a Quaalude. Oh, you remember yeah. the number on the bottom of the Quaalude? I'm sure you do. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I never saw a Quaalude. No, they did have seven fourteen on them. That yeah. Why they have a number on it then? Do you think? It was just the. Number. He didn't look at him fast enough. Just took him. <laughs> <laughs> right before you got in the truck and went for a drive. You can't read. Come, you can't read the pill when it's going down your throat, right? Uh, how come all my girlfriends always said, "How you doing? You got any lewds?" <laughs> <laughs> That's because the quail lewds than what they were playing with on you. Uh, oh, you know, uh, there's been a number of comedians that have passed away lately. Uh, have you noticed that? Uh, Last week, yeah. 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 Well, I, I know a lot of comedians who die, but, you know. No, just lately. They're, it's on stage. I hates really. comedians. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, well, you're bringing that up, but they they died uh, last yeah, week. We're, we're already yeah, past last week. that. Well, I'm not here that often. I'm only here once a week, so you know. You know what we decided was what, what, what question we brought up the other night? Did anybody find Louis Anderson funny? Oh, he died too. Comedy yeah. legend Louis Anderson. What? I only remember him in a I movie. I didn't even funny. know he was a comedian. I, yeah, I only remember him in movies. I didn't think he was all that funny. Yeah, I remember him being in. Wasn't he in? Wasn't he in the Eddie Murphy movie? He worked at McDowell's. I think he worked behind the counter. So, so he didn't kill the crowd. The crowd killed him. They filmed Come into America. Come into yeah, America. they filmed that by my house. It was like, yeah, how right long ago? Like, you mentioned coming to America. Yeah, he was working in the back of the restaurant. Uh, oh, that's uh, uh, Eddie Does Murphy. anybody over the, under the age of 20 know what coming to America was? Yeah, coming to America 4 is just coming out. <laughs> <laughs> How, how many people under 40 know the banjo scene in Deliverance? That's right. Yeah. That's right. You know, I mean, you got to be very careful. Yeah, right. You got to be very careful these days when you're referencing stuff and you think, oh, everybody's going to know who that is. You know? Yeah, well, everybody who listens to the show. <laughs> no. You know, and, and, and uh, Jack at the end of his show always references all the people that worked for Jack Benny. Yeah. I don't understand that. Except but. his first singer. Which he doesn't mention, which is Kenny Baker. You know, so. Oh, didn't he have How a many band? people under 40 know who Jack Benny was? What, Nobody, what, and what? all of them are dead already, what, so I mentioned what, what, What'd you say, Charlie? I said, how many people under 40 know who Jack Benny was? It, right. That's right. That's right. And, yeah. and all those guys had talent. 
And now yeah. people have all these YouTubers mm -hmm. have no talent. And these are the people that they're remembering. Yeah, and, like, kind of and they're making so much money right now. Well, they're giving some of these YouTubers their own TV shows and things like that, you know. Yeah. And and think and by the way, none of them do well. They then Wasn't all fail. Was the Bieber found on YouTube? What? No, no, I don't think so. What did you say Justin about the Be Be Bieber? I said, on wasn't Justin Bieber found on YouTube? I, oh. He was doing YouTubes and somebody. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yes. what? Yes. What's that? Oh, is that where, what's his name, Psalm? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. What, what's the black singer? I can't think of his name. I'm drawing a blank, too. Yeah. Randy. Randy. Was it Randy? No. No, no, no. Uh, what's I, his name? I, I'd know it if I heard, if I heard it. You know, but they like, for instance, they had this woman who used to Jackson. do. Jackson. You remember the woman who used to lip sync Trump? Do you remember that woman? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Remember how popular she was? Oh they yeah. Gave, they gave her a TV show on oh, one of the yeah, streaming but... networks, and it failed completely. You know, just because it works for a moment in one medium on the internet doesn't mean it's going to be successful and translate into a TV show. You, know? well, they, you remember uh, Diamonds and Silk? Uh, uh, two oh, yeah, they used Trump. to love Trump. Yes, yeah. yeah. I, I don't see those guys, uh, those women around anymore. No, no. and no. I, I enjoyed them. Uh, you know, I actually I like the way they did it. You know, one one person would be you know doing it like she's in church, and the other one would be bobbing her head. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. But, and, but the, this idea, yeah, yeah, like but, but the fact me. is, you know, somebody said the other day that uh, radio will not exist another 10 years, if, if it even exists now. But, you know, the inner, the, this, uh, these podcasts are just taking over like crazy. And there are three, there are three million of them. Scooter Braun. Who's Scooter Braun? I know the name. He's the one that discovered Justin Bieber. Scooter Braun? Scooter Braun. Oh, yeah, that's what it's no, like. it was a famous black rapper. Yeah. Well, they said Usher was what helped him. Usher. 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 Right. Right. Usher. Usher is the one that really helped him. Yeah. That yeah. got him going, I guess. It isn't uh, that guy that calls the show from San Francisco, John, uh, uh, whatever his name is, isn't he an Usher? Oh, yeah, he is an Usher at the theater, remember? Yeah. At the Fillmore. Yes. Yeah, thank you very he much. He a while, John. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All in the family. I'll be here all night. <laughs> By the way, since we've been talking about nothing really in particular, yeah. we're up to 39 people watching yeah. us right now. See, that's the format. That's the format. Yeah. Right. You know, uh, I mean, uh, but, but, you know, uh, the, the fact, that, you know, talk, if we talk about things that nobody ever heard about, and they're listening to us talk about those things that nobody heard about, you know. But, I mean, I just think that when you reference things like... Uh, even I love Lucy or things like that. To most people today, they don't know what you're talking about. Tony was making me nuts tonight, writing me. He was watching. Oh, I watched the movie. Show. And, I watched uh, it. I watched it. My brother watched yeah. it. Uh, I mean, and I'm not, when I talk about I love Lucy, I'm not talking about people who are uh, are 20 don't know who I love Lucy was. People who are 40 don't know who what I love Lucy uh, you was. Know, people who are 50 don't know what I love Lucy Immigrants was. know I love oh, Lucy. Because a lot of people that came to this country from other countries learned how to speak English watching I Love Lucy. In fact, I live with the fact that if I went back to San Francisco tomorrow, where everybody says, please come back, do your radio show again, blah, blah, blah. Most of the people listening to radio in San Francisco never heard of me. Yeah, they never heard of me because I was popular there. When was it? Uh, when did I leave there? The 19, 80s, 90s. 1997. So that's uh, 20, 25 years ago, maybe. Yeah. Uh, do you, do you, come on. You well, know. you had a long run, though. Yeah, but but uh, what I'm saying is the people who are over the age of, over a certain uh, over a certain age may remember me. But under a certain age, they don't. They don't ever well, hear of Most me. of them are going to be like uh, Brian, and you know, uh, Alan didn't know who you were when I first. Uh, when he asked wow. me, "What are you doing?" On uh, he still doesn't know. No, <laughs> uh, he found out. But uh, you know, he, well, Alan used to listen to Alex Bennett on the radio, but didn't realize that this was Alex Bennett. Well, uh, I'm not bragging when I say this. I'm saying this is to make a point, and that is that. In San Francisco, during my heyday, 
I was about as popular as you could get. I you remember know, when show, the book came out at Camel and you got a six share. And uh, it, that was something to celebrate. Yeah, but I, I mean, I, that I'm saying that in San Francisco, uh, I was, it was pretty big. The morning show was very, very, very popular. I remember okay. you on the side of buses or billboards grabbing another DJ from another radio station's caller. Uh, that, you, know, uh, you like them, you hate them. And then there was a, a not only, there was a billboard going towards the, the Bay Bridge. Like yeah. Going yeah. towards the Bay Bridge. I, you, yeah. yeah, but all I'm saying is, is that, 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 uh, you know, uh, I, I I was that famous, but still, if I and went back tomorrow, nobody, mm. hardly anybody would know who I was. Oh, I'd maybe get an audience of, of people over the age of 60. Well, there, okay. there's a little bit of a resurgence of comedy in the Bay Area again, and I don't know if it's going on anywhere else. Yeah, but they don't but, know that I was the king of that. Yeah, you know? but it, it, I think that they could put two and two together because you could put your... Uh, same format back together and just use those no, new. I, I don't think it, I don't think if I if I did the same show I did back then to begin with I couldn't do it today. I was talking to Bubbles about this. Yeah. I couldn't. We couldn't do the show we did then. We'd be we'd been taken off the air because you know that's not correct. You can't do that. It's not woke. Yeah. You know. But but also, how many people really listen to radio anymore? Everyone streams their own music. All the Teslas have their own stations on their on the, the streaming lines on their their cars mm -hmm. or, or i like i have satellite in my cars yeah, yeah. but nobody mm -hmm. even listens to the doesn't doesn't the dish get in the way of the windshield <laughs> hey brian didn't you get your wife a tesla what what model did you get it was at why? the three why oh, yeah. Why? Why? No, why? I don't know. Why? Why, why did you get her one? <laughs> why? Why? Well, no, because uh, Alex and I were talking about Teslas uh, in the first half hour, and uh, uh, Bill was talking about it. Alex wasn't. Yeah, because uh, uh, is it the uh, higher Bob, is it the Bob higher they go in the alphabet, the more expensive they are? Well, the, the S I think is the most expensive, right? Uh, he did this. Uh, the first model is the S model, then it's a three, then it was the X, and then it was the Y. So the three backwards is an E, S E X Y. Really? Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's Elon. Elon did that. Oh, good. So sexy is his first four so, cars. So what is go. the cheapest one? Three. The three? I think it's the three. Yeah, that's the yeah. newer thirty-five thousand. Thirty, forty thousand, something like that. Yeah. Well, and you know, as far as I can tell, everybody loves them. How, how does your wife like? They're at, they're everywhere here. I mean, you. I know other areas. They're not that popular, but here, I mean, seriously, you just see Tesla nonstop everywhere. I wonder why. Oh, well, no gas. Or there, there there's in, in there's infrastructure. No, no, wait a minute. There's infrastructure for Tesla in, in this area. If I Absolutely. go to Whole Foods, uh, I pull in and there's uh, there's charging stations, uh, you know, that say Tesla on it. Do they charge the you? The outlets in Gilroy, there's like 30 of them. Yeah. Do they uh, charge I, you to use the, those charging stations? I don't know. Uh, Brian? Yeah. Certain no. ones they do, certain ones they don't. Now, also, that's, Tesla... That's the ones, the supercharger Teslas, they won't. Yeah, and doesn't Tesla give you a, a card or something for for so many years of... No, they, they know. You don't need a card. They know your car. Oh. Probably you plug it in, they know. Any Tesla supercharger station knows. Wow. And try all, it, oh, we'll, we'll try and, it. With and every, car, every, every company here... In Silicon Valley, they have like two or three for each building. So mm -hmm. our building has like four or five on each side, and yeah. So it's, I mean, it's it's everywhere here. Okay, so I mean, that's that's pretty good, you know. So uh, now, Brian, we were talking. Alex and I were talking about the energy uh, that's that's used to charge these uh, plug-in hybrids or plug-in cars, mm -hmm. and uh, I was saying that in California, it's not as uh, the, the, creating the energy is not as dirty as it is in areas where maybe they have coal fire plants like West Virginia uh, to generate electricity. Uh, is, is, is that true? Have you heard anything about it? I have it? no idea. Oh, okay. I, well, I, if, our, I, our, our PG and or anything hasn't gone up and it, yeah, so. I, I, I do know that uh, our last president was going to generate all our electricity with coal. <clears throat> Oh, put your mask back on, Alan. You look better. Let me let me ask uh, let me ask uh, Brian a question. Uh, do you have the fast charger for it? Not okay. at home. Because there is a fast charger that you can buy. I don't know, it costs a couple yeah. hundred bucks. So you could do the wall charger. 
just like you know your 110 for everything you have in the house they have that one that one's very slow then they have the one that's like the washer and dryer one yeah and that one's like twice as fast and then when you go like we go to work that superchargers are even faster oh. the supercharger is like two hours and your your battery's done yeah okay so how much let's say let's say you're in a rush how far, how uh, how fast does it charge initially? Uber well, Uber. Two hours. <laughs> if you're at home? Yeah, I mean, let's say let's say uh, you're out of electricity, but you want to charge it enough so you can maybe go somewhere and come back. How long does that take? Oh, you don't uh, have to put a full charge in, right? Right, right. But it'd probably take an hour if you had a low, low, low battery and you're trying to charge it. Uh, yes, uh, Charlie. But like if I'm driving to Chicago, that's a 1,200 mile trip, and I get like 300 miles to a charge. Uh, it's gonna take me a lot longer to get there if I gotta stop for two or three hours to. You got a plan? Yeah, there's yeah. A, there's a new there's a, there's a new kind of car that's not the hybrid, and it's not the all electric. It's one that will run all electric, and it keeps like a gallon of gas or something in in a in a reserve tank. Which it will then so switch over hybrid. to what? If it has like gas hybrid. in it, it's got to be a hybrid. No, it, they're not called hybrids. There's some other thing they call them. Yeah. Half breeds. Half breeds or something, but they don't call them. They, they don't. No, they don't call them that. But 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 just so like Tiffany, she she charges it overnight. She drives to work. She drives back home. Maybe she goes somewhere. We go somewhere on the weekend. But every night it's charging at the house. So it's perfect for that. But if it's your only vehicle and you wanted to go to L.A. or San Diego. Right. The way you, to... Yeah. Yeah. So when you go to L.A. or San Diego, that's close. Not not close, close. But yeah. but you actually go in there and you program it. You can program when you're leaving that morning. So you're going from here to this hotel in L.A. Mm -hmm. And it'll tell you your options where you can charge. Okay, but, find the they have stations all up and down. Okay, but let's say you have a let's say you go and you use a Tesla charger. How long do those take? Uh, about an hour and a half to two hours if you have a low low battery. Charger. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because we go to the mall. We go to the mall and charge it. How many miles? How many? Good. How many miles can you go on a charge? About two three hundred and something. What? Know. I'm not sure. I think it's three. That's what I saw was like three hundred miles. Okay. Yeah, There's another car that just came out that's getting like 500. I, I Lucid. That's my my friend just went to go manage their warehouse in Arizona. <coughs> Lucid. And that one's 500 miles. That was a nice car. My friend bought one too. It's supposed to be delivered next month. What's it called? Lucid. Really? Don't they have a pickup truck or something? No, just the uh, like executive car for. Oh, okay. There's, there's a car. Yeah, I've seen, called, I've uh, seen one. A yeah, I down in LA. I saw one on the road. See that kind of that kind of make, a, that kind of makes sense to me. Yeah, there's know. a car called a Karma Fisker, and they were really good looking. Karma Fister, Fisker, oh. Fisker. <laughs> and maybe it was the name that killed it, but uh, it, well, it that one just went looking. right past him, didn't it? Well, yeah, no, that that's a really beautiful car. Yeah, that is a really Just, beautiful car. Justin Bieber had one on the show Two and a Half Men after Charlie, whatever his name, Charlie. Uh, Jane. Jane. Uh, she, uh, uh, the uh, the new guy that took over the show, he had one in the show. Ashton Kutcher had one. Yeah, really? in the show. Uh, oh. And so, uh, but it was a Karma Fisker, and that was I. You know, I, I looked at that and I said, that is gorgeous. You can buy them today for almost nothing because yeah, yeah. because uh, they can't get parts for them anymore. They're out of business. I, yeah, I'm. I, they Justin Bieber had one one time and got pulled over by the Highway Patrol, and <laughs> they had pictures on his website standing, the Highway Patrol standing next to his car. They'd never seen one. Yeah, they're starting. They're starting back up production of those. Though. Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, but still, yeah, they're so like forty thousand right now. Wow, we've so got a we lot can... of listeners to this. Maybe we yeah. just should be yeah. just car be, talk. We yeah. should just be car chatty. Yeah. Just be chatty. Yeah. Um, no, but I mean, if I I'm, I'm never going to have another car. I don't think. I right now, I don't even know if I know how to drive anymore. You know. Uh, I, but, I I went to New York. But if I, I if I, but if I had a chance, I mean, I would buy I would buy a Tesla. You know. yeah. uh, a friend of mine took took us to to dinner, 
and he had to call 24 hours in advance in New York City to have his car brought out of the garage. Yes. <laughs> to, to do it. Now, what happened was we went to the DDL food show, which is that Dino De Laurentiis uh, food yeah. show. I don't know if it was open when uh, when you were living there. And uh, so I think you were in San Francisco at the time. And uh, so we, we, went, we went to that and he couldn't find a parking space. So he drove around the block while we and, uh, and another couple of guests ate. And then he took us, picked us back up. He went and parked his car again. So he, he waited 24 hours to get the car. Then he couldn't find the parking, so he couldn't eat. And, you know, that, that's yeah, the work. The things that they've been doing, and I mean, I think some of them are, are pretty solid, but, but you know, they have the, the um, I forget what it's called, but, you know, they, they like I said, I told you guys before, I, I, my friend and I walked, I think it's Simon and I walked out of Target, and these three kids were standing there, and this car pulled up, and they both got in the front seat, and then one guy got in the back seat. It's the, you know, they, they, they bring the car over. But yeah, they're, no driver. They're, what, yeah, what they're trying is, you know, like you go to a concert or a baseball game, and you can go ahead and have the car drop you off right in front, and it'll go get a parking spot itself, or, or you know, like the mall. Crazy. Wow. Yeah. Well, but, and, and those are fast, fast cars. I, I heard that if you didn't have the four wheel drive, that if you only had the rear wheel drive in a Tesla, that they were so fast that they would break loose and they were they were hard to drive. Uh, because they had so much torque and so much. I, I don't. I don't think they have two-wheel drive Teslas. Uh, yeah, they do. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, I, I watched a, a guy talk about why have he. Have you was ever old. been in a Tesla, Phil? Yes. A friend of mine has a Model S. The thing goes from zero to a hundred in three point six seconds. Yeah, the, the one I was in was a Model S, and uh, he. He did something and it mm-hmm. pulled out of the parking space by itself. Absolutely. Uh, the only it, time I've been at a Tesla it was at a, in a uh, in a in a you know a car here that picked me up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And and I it looked at it for a second. And I said, I got to be in a Tesla because it had the big screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. So when you see the maps and stuff, everything. Yeah. Just, yeah. But that's it. And every Tesla Tesla has that, right? Can you yeah. Open yeah. It? And then you, you watch can a go, movie. Yeah, and you can go, you know, if you want to go to restaurants, you know, searching stuff. I mean, yeah, it's 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 pretty amazing. It's like an they, iPad. You know, it's always, like it's a, like a huge iPad. Yeah. 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 On the you, know, you always see those cars in the future movies, they all look the same. Mm-hmm. And that's what they are. They're all Teslas. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh now uh the uh can you, eventually will somebody be able to figure it out to watch a movie on a Tesla screen? You know, because I can't do it on on my uh, uh, GPS screen on my car, but uh, you know, you figure it would be. You could use your iPhone, Phil. Yeah, but I. Whatever happened to that law that that you couldn't put a TV set in the front of a of a car? Yeah, I think it's still it's still a good law. Well, it's not a good law, but it's still on the books. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, there's our theme. You hear that? Yeah, there it is. There we go. Everybody dance. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> hey, it's been nice tonight. See, that's what happens when we do just a nice show. Lots of people want to listen. Yeah. Phil, thank you for being so nice tonight. Hey, I'm nice every night. I, I'm I, just, I know you know. you are, just as long as we don't get into Trump and things like that. Uh, and Alan, thank you I, so I, much. What? Remember uh, a couple of years ago, I said you ought to have a no Trump zone, Ooh. and uh, yeah. you were still after the low hanging fruit. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think yeah. no Trump zone would have been good. Anyway, uh, 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 right Charlie now. Wallace, thank you, thank you, Tony. Always good to have you here. Yeah. Glad you had some coffee tonight. Kept you awake. Oh boy, uh, Brian, thank you so much. You're t- terrific. I love talking to you, and you too. Uh, uh, Kevin, you're just uh, the best. Uh, all of you are the best. All of you are terrific. Bunch of the guys hanging out. Everybody give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Let me uh, let me uh, turn off the, uh, uh, the thing here. There we go. We lost them finally, and they're gone for the night. And uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with The Intersection. I'll be back again tomorrow night, 10.30, same time, same station in life. 
And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And please wear a mask or get inoculated or just don't leave the house. All right? Good night, everybody. See you later.